Welcome to another fabulous lockdown beginner's makeup, special effects makeup out of kit. Uh, I'm Ian from Seventa Makeup Academy and I'm using my fabulous treasure house of makeup kit and here's Seventa Makeup Academy. Hello Seventa. We are just getting ourselves cleaned up and sorted for, um, for today's demo. I'm very excited. So today's demo, ladies and gentlemen, today's demo, it's all about, hello Juan, it's all about rashes. But we're going back to basics, everyone. We're going back to basics. And we are doing, um, we're doing latex rashes today, latex and colour. So all we're going to be using today, I really enjoy your artist interview. Thank you so much. It was a fabulous interval with Paul Schilling, SFX, absolutely. Um, there will be more um, artist interviews coming up. I've got one with Juan tomorrow evening at 6pm. Uh, and um, yes, artist interviews keep coming up. They will be on the, they, they will be on the Seventa Makeup Academy um, YouTube, like my um, demos. So keep checking. Hello, Megan. Hello, Morgan. Right. Today we are going back to basics, ladies and gentlemen. We are going for Meron Latex and Pro Coloring by Meron SFX. Hello, Morgan. Congratulations to anyone having just completed their degree. I'm hoping you will be getting your marks very soon. Right. So... Ladies and gentlemen, so what are we doing today? We are doing Treasure Makeup. Hello. So Treasure Makeup, um, as we know, my lockdown series is all about um, beginners. End of July, you get your marks. Fabulous. Lockdown series is all about beginners out of kit special effects. You see my Treasure House of Makeup kit, my lockdown kit, which is here, which I designed just before lockdown and Treasure House kindly sent me. Um, Treasure Makeup, we're still offering the uh, pro discount to everyone on the website. I'm not sure if that's still live. Treasure Makeup, if you're still on the call, can you confirm if that's live? If not, you need to apply for your pro discount. Today we're using Meron Latex, Meron Pro Coloring SFX, sorry, the back rub off, and my Delium brushes. Okay? So we're doing rashes today, a very basic rash. So I need you to just basically get your um, my takeaway pot. Matteo Ranieri, fabulous vocalist. And we're going to do some washes of red. I'm going to do a rash all over here, okay? So nice and simple. Oops. Don't be too prescriptive where you want it. Because rashes are not prescriptive. They're also not even. So you can see I'm already building the base of the rash, okay? This is the base of the rash. These are just... I'm using... Um, all I'm using is this fabulous red, which is my Bruce Wheel Red by Meron. Alcohol dilution onto my palette. And we're just creating a lovely base of the rash. Now this for any of you watching, when you're doing out of kit effects, very important to keep building because we need to know how the effect builds okay now you want different intensities don't be scared by color okay do not be scared by color hello Paul Schilling we were just talking about your fabulous interview fabulous interview today which will be it's available on my Instagram and it will be available from the treasure house of make sorry from the Seventa Makeup Academy Right, it's the base of my rash, okay? Now, we move on to latex. 
by Meron. Now, you can use a toothpick for this, or I've got a handy little tool, which is this one. Yeah, which could be like a toothpick. So you dip. I don't want you to I don't want you to flatten it, okay? And you want to go over the areas you put the red in. As you can see, I'm moving what I have to create texture, yeah? Let's keep creating that texture. Oops. What are we doing today? We're doing rashes. Rashes um, using colour and latex. Very basic, but again, very useful. Again, you don't have to have a lot of money to do this. And it's a very useful, simple technique. So I did I did a wash of color, and then I started to put my my latex on. Um, depending how thick your layers are, latex will dry quicker or not. And don't be too perfect about it because a rash is imperfect. As you can see this on my rash there. And there's the beginning of what it would look like. Um, I'll be honest with you, Paul, I don't. However, if you've done a patch test and the client is happy to have latex on them directly, no need for barrier if the client would like it. The problem with barrier barriers is that it creates another layer to work with and it can distort the latex a bit depending on which barrier work you're working. You can airbrush a barrier. So Meron do a barrier. I don't have it with me, but it looks like this. It's a mixing liquid. It looks like a mixing liquid bottle, but it's called barrier and you can airbrush it and that's better. But I don't on myself put a barrier. Only because I know my skin. As you can see, I'm just going around it. Hello, Danny Ash. Fabulous, fabulous circus performer. Queer circus performer. Give Danny Ash some love. I am very well, darling. Now you don't want this latex to be too runny, otherwise you won't be able to achieve what you're trying to achieve. Thank you, darling. Oops. 
too much. So if you put too much, just do that, just dab it off. That's, that's exactly what I just did. And as you can see, already we're getting the, the look of the rash, which is what we're looking for. Yeah? So I'm just going over all the areas I had my red, not all of them, you don't have to do all of them by the way. I mean that's quite a nice one there and we will take the shine away in a bit by the way, we will take the shine away so it doesn't look too shiny. This is a really easy beginner's rash without using prosthetic applications. The next level would be to use Bondo applications, which Paul and I were talking to in his interview. But for now, we're going old school, latex and colour. I have to say, I love going old school. Because as we said before in the interview, if you can master these skills, then you'll find sculpting a hell of a lot easier. Now, as I put the as I put the latex on, I'm trying to smooth. Remember, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a, bit, I'm a bit military about my edges. It, your edges have to be good, okay? So we're gonna leave that one a bit thicker there. And as you can see, it creates really, really, once we've taken the shine away, it really creates realistic rashes. Now, if it does stick to itself a bit, that's totally fine. Because you do want that kind of... Can you see? Now, when that's matted down and dry, it's going to look fabulous. And this one's quite interested by... Oops. You're trying you're essentially trying to create you're trying to create texture. That's the job. The more layers you keep adding, the more realistic the rash will look. But you need to break it up, okay? Otherwise it's gonna to be too blocky. You don't want it to look blocky. The point is it looks, it needs to look uneven and broken. That's the very important thing, it needs to look uneven and broken.
Now I'm using my fingers as well because I'm a big believer in, you know, in special effects we can use your fingers, so why not? So uneven, broken pieces. Now, if you had to recreate this for continuity, it'd be quite difficult over a large area. But in a small area, you could just about do it. So when you apply, just take some off if you want. Thank you, Juan. For those of you watching, Juan has been doing some amazing transformations. Check out his Instagram, Juan Del Bra Makeup. Juan Del Bra Makeup. He's on the call at the moment. Just check his, check his Instagram. It's fabulous. Some fabulous transformations. He's the head of education at Seventa Makeup Academy. So this could be a Fasaris skin in infection, skin irritation, allergic reaction. What you don't want to you don't want it to look like burns. Okay, that's the big thing. So it needs to look more infection, less burny. I mean, you could get away with it being a first degree burn, but it's more infection. Okay, so let's give this a dry now. Oh, look at that. Oh dear, right. So this is the kind of texture you've got. Yeah? So let's give it a powder now, just to take away the shine. And you can see what we left with. Don't worry, we'll be taking off the excess powder in a minute. Can you see? Right. Now I want you to get a clean brush. You're going to get some In this case, I'm using mixing liquid, but water will do. So I'm using my Meron mixing liquid. And just very gently, remove the excess powder. Oh, 
And there we have it. Now you can now, if you want, apply, apply a little bit more colour. Let me just get quickly a white. Very simple technique guys, Very, I'm not doing anything complicated here, but you need to be able to master these skills as a, you know, as a young makeup artist or any makeup artist to be honest. So these are beginners out of kit. I'm using things in my kit, no prosthetics, no Bondo, things that I would always have in my kit. By the way, always clear the, clean the lids of your latex, because if not, it's gonna get stuck and it's a pig to get out. For example, there's a little bit here left, which is really annoying me. So let's get rid of that, there you go. Right, where were we? Oh yes. So now let's add a bit more color. Now you could add more latex if you want it. Yeah? But we're not going to. Again, alcohol. Oops. My red, which is this one. Yeah, that one there. I'm just literally stippling a little bit of extra colour. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it, a quick, very quick rash. Yeah. Fasaris skin irritation rash using just all I've used Meron latex Little bit of, bit of Meron mixing liquid to clean up at the end My Meron Color ring special effects and a tiny bit of neutral salt powder by Ben Nye um, all applied using my one brush from Delium 184 and this little tool which could be a toothpick it could be a wooden toothpick but that one so there you go have a lovely lovely day and I will see you again on Friday take care bye